All right, down to dwarves again. Brilliant. I'm considering two babes, two 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 apoths here. Nice, good, good record as well. Floss, be right back. Oh man, fucking 11 players against Dwarves is going to be no fun, is it? Zero fun game. Incoming. I know what a noob, right? <laughs> what a noob going for a wizard, I should totally take him. <laughs> I'm not pulling a pay. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's kind of what I went for, wasn't it, Ducky, you know? If it wasn't for the intercept. It would have worked, wouldn't it? Probably. I was okay with scoring early um, in that game. <laughs> Just because I had so few players. I'm gonna score on this drive, don't I? And then go two nil up as, as you know, if I can on my drive. That's what I wanted to do against Ducky, <laughs> but didn't get a, didn't get to use the wizard. And could have still scored anyway, really. What a kick. And get behind his defence here. Could be good. Oh, 
No, I'm not touch back. No, it's, it's up there. <laughs> Perfect kick, really. Go <laughs> fully now in base. All in there. I never have your army seven broken all torn. That, that's to go and fully now. Yeah. Badly because you ain't got the movement to um, outrun them, have you? Like, wood elves can outrun dwarves. Dark elves tend to not be able to. Badly for enjoyment. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and does base very well on defense, definitely. Bases intelligently. Um, makes the fight about the ball so you can't just tee off and kill everybody. what it is that's what it is exactly that's why you just play the teams you play the teams until you um until you get armor nine yeah hidden armor nine clever inarian tactics are are being found out here he's just got so much guard can't punch them that's the thing in it dark elves like to punch people and they they have so much guard that you can't really punch them very well Right, is there a way through here? Block him, blitz him, get through. I guess there is a way through there. Then. Little ones, good lad. Sweet as a geesh. Escaped, escaped from the um, dwarfs. Got a mighty blow on his um, lodger. Frenzy trapped himself. To be, oh no, he didn't. He got a from Get wrestled, bitch. There, you just pick it up again and, and pass it or something. Yeah, 
Yep, this is exactly why I go wrestle first because dwarves is the worst matchup, and wrestle is way better than block against dwarves. So yeah, that's it. That's a hundred percent why I took it. why I go wrestle first. I'm not lying there. Because I think if you go dodge first, you just get to crush. Like you crush all the all all the teams you win against. You win more against, don't you? If you go dodge. But if you go wrestle, then you've got half a chance of being scored. He's just going to win the cage, isn't he? But he's got a dodge of GFI twice or something. GFI twice to get the bear. Or dodge and GFI twice to get the bear. Or pass to, the other, pass to this guy. I guess is what he's going to do. Put two D him for a pal. I can get a one D on there with the guard. Could bolt him. Do have the guard around. I really don't want to bolt though. But it would obviously open up a lot of. If he goes this way, I still get a clear them. There's there's so many people all around, and the bolt here is actually fine. Yeah, because there's somebody around here as well, isn't there? So it's okay. Oh, they are linemen. Oh shit, he's got stand for fuck. <laughs> of course. Of course, chuckles, chuckly, chuckly, chuckles. Mm. Shit. Pretty good. <coughs> That's good enough. No need to risk a one in thirty six if you don't have to, is there? Wrestling. Beat up dwarfs. Good. Uh, 
health thing is pretty good, isn't it? Bit of a shame to have to use a wizard there, wasn't it? But um, obviously it works out pretty well. Yeah, towards being strength too, because the small would be amazing. Yeah, it did do a thing amazingly, amazingly way better than a than a. Um, Apo and uh, Babe at the moment. There's still time for that to change. He's even got 12, hasn't he? So can't even go for like the attrition play. Why on earth would I stop next turn in that range? You absolute madman. He wants to go down and block and then move both these guys down. Guess I just gotta re-roll this if it fails. Forgot about stand firm again. Oh, and fucks us. Stand firm, an absolute game winner for him. Yeah, that that fucking stand firm was pretty funny, wasn't it? Got him a chasm as well. I should have spotted that he had it, but the thing is, dwarves just have so many. And say, I can't apple this. This is why apples are fucking a bit shit, aren't they? I can't apple in this next game. Um, I got him a chasm. That fucking 
stand firm. If I had realised he hadn't, didn't. If I'd realised the stand firm, I guess I wouldn't have tried to block him. All he can do is one D blitz. Ball's not going to go in the crowd. He gets two D B blitz. Thing is though, Inarin, you shouldn't be basing your play on the assumption that your opponent is terrible at blood bowl. That's that's the thing, Inarin, right? You're playing under the assumption that your opponent is shit. Um which is a big assumption to play on. If only you'd already had dodge. surf with her so that he can get this touchdown. I've got to go for it, haven't I? Oh, I guess she can go for the touchdown and then she can make the save. So guarantee. Guarantee the save. Yes, but your strategy is going to work far better against shit coaches than it is against good coaches, isn't it? That's the, that's the problem with it. You know, that's the problem that I have with it. It's great if you're playing somebody crap to try and score as many as possible. But um, if they're good, you're probably not going to score as many as possible. Are you? You're probably just going to leave yourself open to get fucked. But you're, not, but you're just saying score now so you've got more time to score a game. That only works if someone's bad. Why can't you see that? That's only, like... I don't think the default state of somebody's drive is I'm going to score. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Indeed, they can J5, uh, but it's just just working under the wrong assumption. That's the thing. Like, obviously, yes, it does give you more more time to count to score a game, but that's not usually what's going to happen, is it? Oh God, let's not mention that game, eh? Stop. <laughs> Someone even said in Lupac's chat that it was um, that it was it was Inarian style that got him the six-one win. It's like, come on, it's got nothing to do with his style. I tell you what, if if I was to um, if I was to Kaz, if I was to reduce a Skaven team to like three players by the second half as a Wood Elf coach, I'd fucking win six-one as well. It's not hard when you. <laughs> He didn't have much choice, did he, then? He was 2-1 up. He knew he'd won. Mull had no players left. Why not just go for 6-1? There was no reason not to go for 6-1. Wrestle could be on the lines of a blitzer. Yeah, it probably would have been better. But, I mean, one's getting blitzed anyway, aren't they? Yeah, you probably like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, J5. Exactly. You give any competent coach the dice in that final. Um, and not first half, because he did play well first half when, when there was actually, you know, things happening first half. But second half, anyone, anyone scores for in the second half there. Hey. 
And kick off return. What a dirty dingo. That would have been wrestled. That would have already been wrestled. <laughs> Of course it is, Ryan Clad. Looking especially against a good coach like Inari, and the two-one, the two-one grind is definitely not guaranteed to work in any way, shape, or form. But it's just the logic of that he just said there. Of scoring early it gives you more time to score again. It's just you can only have that mentality if you think your opponent's crap. I think. This is it's only prudent to have that mentality if you think your opponent's crap. I'm not going to score as soon as I can against Ducky because I think, oh, I'll get to score again. It's just fucking nuts against, against Ducky, isn't it? It would be nuts. That's what I think. Yeah, so Narin thinks that every bash coach is a nerd. Sure do hate failing 83% missions on Crusades the Lost Idols. Yeah, sure in Arian. Sure. Sure. We had two one dice in the board. I couldn't really stop that, could I? Yeah, sure, I was lucky. I was lucky because <laughs> because you made your one turn and then won the coin toss. Yeah. Sounds good. But you're always going to roll dice as Wood Elves, especially when you're in Ireland. You can't just say it every time <laughs> you don't win, it's due to dice, which you do. Which, to be fair, is a bit, um, I don't know, cheeky or whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah, I was lucky to remove a player. I got out bashed, mate. I was Chaos, and you were Wood Elves, and I got out bashed. So, don't even for a second try to say that. I was the lucky one in that match. <laughs> Don't even try it. Don't even fucking try it. Coming in here with that bullshit. I'm going to base the ball. How about that? Yeah, of course. An armor seven guy getting removed is is always look that involved in that, isn't it? Might as well go for this one. What's the worst thing can happen? Oh yeah, death. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh dear. <laughs> Holy shit.
It was double death last game to Ryan Clad and the game before that. Essentially one in nine, really, because... And one in three wants it to happen, because, you know, minus movement is death, isn't it? Minus agility is death. Minus strength is death. Minus AV is death. So, niggles death. Double death is essentially one in six chance, because you've already uploaded it, haven't you, by the time. Yet. Right. He died, but he came back. One in nine would Im it would it would would include. It's not really one in nine though, because it's you've already used the apple, you know. So it's not really. I'm really right. Do I just try to stall in here or one DM and then go for something on the ball? He's got oh, he's got guard as well. He doesn't have guard. Could put the guard in there and then one DM. Put somebody there, one D there. Put the guard in 2D, 2D, run around. Narian style. Not sure I like that play. After, after starting it. No, do I like making loads of two plus rolls here? Yes, I got to. Fucking dwarfs. Oh, in the turn, motherfucker. If only I'd scored sooner and I'd have had more turns to get the turn over, eh?
He's still scoring threat, isn't he? Quite a big scoring threat. Guards in a really dumb place. I shouldn't have changed my mind half of the return there. If I'd just hard screened it, it wouldn't have done anything, would it? But trying to go around the back for a block there was a bit fucking dumb, to be honest. TBH fan. I really want to score on his drive. <laughs> but I mean, I could just blitz him and then screen it. One D him. And one under the ball. Just tilt it off the face of the planet. I just don't even know what I'm doing. No oh, man. That's pretty bad, isn't it? I just don't even know what I'm doing. Just fucking hit you. I just don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. don't even know what's happening this, this turn. Just haven't even played Blood Bowl for turn. Let's do this. What's the worst that can happen? That was just the worst turn of Blood Bowl I've ever played in my life. And I guess the turn before was pretty bad. <sighs> Shit. That was awful. Well, I guess that you can call too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck it was. I just really don't know what the fuck happened in that time. I do know if I'd stalled another turn, he wouldn't have scored. Oh, and that 
dead in the dead, that's a surprise, isn't it? Oh, fuck this. Hmm. You're out of death. Dead into dead. On this team. Ridiculous. <laughs> Lose him so there's no one turn. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, that was... Horrible. The turn before was worse. I just forgot which turn it was. I didn't even know which turn it was. It's pretty bad. That's a pro tip. Know what fucking turn it is. Isn't it? If I'd realised it only had two turns, then I would. Oh well, there you go. Look, you got him. Good. Didn't even stand him up. But just dodged away with the movement nine. You could have scored. <laughs> ah, what a joke. Had so few players anyway. It was a joke. Eight players dead. Fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, if I. If I'd embraced an Aaron as my lord and saviour, I'd say anyone who broke armor 7 was lucky as fuck. <laughs> if you break armor 7 once in a match, you're pretty lucky. Now I know. Now I know the attitude I should have. And I shall say chuckles so that people think that I'm, I'm not salty or something. Every time I roll a one, I'm unlucky. Every time I roll a double one, I'm the unluckiest guy in the world. Every single game that I lose, I would have won if I'd had better dice. <laughs> if I wasn't unlucky, even. Yeah, that's true. Just got to embrace the Inarian way, that's true. I'm dead right. Could serve him, couldn't I? Could go four plus with dodge into a two plus without. In it was, uh... I'm just gonna block people and see what happens. I need to roll some two pluses unnecessarily for the full, the fully narrowing effect.
People don't sub to see me happy though, Targaryen tantrum. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing, is it? People sub for Blood Bowl. So that means I get to be miserable. It's the nature of the fucking ladder, isn't it? With money in it involved, it's fucking horrible. Just is what it is. Might be happy now. You never know. No, of course not. All right, happy. And it was a skill. Pretty good. Nah, the money does change a lot, Rumble. Yeah, it does. Yeah, exactly, World King. They seem to have got the worst from both worlds. They've kept the, the 20 game limit of a loss means he runs over, but then they've added the grindiness of having to play 40 games. It's just fucking horrible. It should have been 30. Just start at 30. That's what I said from day one. Soft cap of 30 games. Is what I said without any fucking data. Fucking knobhead dog. What does his data even do as well? What a fucking prick. The fuck is the... What is the... Well, I want to see the data that says... That said, you know... Because he admitted that the first formula was too grindy. I want to know what fucking data he pulled out of his fucking cunt. To say that it that was definitely too grindy. I mean, it's just bollocks, isn't it? It's just fucking bollocks. All this fucking data shenanigans. It's just a load of shit. And cause another guy to die. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You don't need fucking data, you just need to have played Blood Bowl and like understand that. Oh, fucking stupid. The new champion that rules is just that there's 500 euros for whoever wins it, so obviously it makes it just that much more pressure and that each loss that much more fucking annoying than everyone, doesn't it? And for some reason, oh yeah, there's a concession limit of five. I mean, that's not really new. The formula is is kind of a 42 game soft cap, kind of, and basically winning win percentage. Yeah, top race is each race. Yeah, it's just so dumb. Fucking trying to say that the data means anything is just fucking stupid. Well, that's Dode, isn't it? No, it's literally Dode in a nutshell. Fuck this guy. Oh man, this cat's <laughs> random cat. He's been fucked by the dice, this guy, hasn't he? <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, he fucking snake eyed the, the certain score. And then he, um. He's had those cars like that. 
He's got every right to be salty as fuck about the way this game has gone. Alternative data. Yeah, I don't know how long you've been away for, Joe Manji, but um, so when you say the new champion ladder rules, I don't really know how new you mean, but yeah, top, top of each race, 16 races. Miss clicks lose. And um, yeah, it's just, it's essentially when, when top winning percentage goes through with. Um, with uh, you know, some some different thing No, I, I know that there's not much chance of winning the prize, of course, Roaring, but even if you were like the best player in the world, there's not that much chance, obviously, because of the looking ball, there's not that much chance of winning. But it does, it does make a big difference, the fact that there is the money in the world. You can just see how, you know, how many more people are playing this season than last season, including people that have got no chance of winning at all. But they're playing just because... They think they might get lucky. Yeah, I know nothing will change on hands. I know nothing will change. Broken. I shouldn't think about blood ball at all. It's a shame that I care about it. That's that's the only thing. I wish I didn't care about blood ball. Not the first one. <laughs> Whoever plays the most qualifying. It's funny because in winning the game roles, I've been the luckiest fuck this game, but in terms of my team being completely fucked forever, it's not going so well, is it? Yeah, exactly. I sh I just shouldn't care about it. That's my that is my um, problem caring about blood ball. No, the movement nine guy isn't dead. Thank God, but we are not blow top of the rules. I mean, I need to find something. Yeah, that's the thing, courageous. You're absolutely right. Blood ball doesn't care about me. I care. Blood Bowl cares about fucking dickhead Dodd and his moronic fucking ideas. It's a real fucking shame.
I don't think many teenagers will play football anyway, do they? It'll always be the same guys at the top, Mo and Ducky and Nari and etc. Yeah, exactly, so I don't care about the free vocal, exactly. Yeah, it just gets me salty for no reason. You're absolutely correct. But I'm already salty, so I might as well fucking get more salty than that. Maybe. Might as well go full depressed today. The worst thing about this death spiral is the fucking bank rule just completely fucking you for no reason. It's so fucking stupid, the bank rule. Oh my god. But then, of course, with Blood Bowl 2016 inducements, they're not going to make inducements all okay for this. So. I fucking spent 100k on a random fucking upgrade that I didn't even want. Just to throw away the money, you know? And I could have used that to have stayed at 12 players. And if it stayed at 12 players, maybe this wouldn't have happened. But I mean, they, I mean that's okay because they just don't understand. Uh, but why they purposefully change the rules, like adding things that are irrelevant, isn't so bad because you know they don't know anything about blood balls. They think, oh, we'll add something cool, and it's not cool or possible to use, and that's kind of okay because you can forgive them that and breaths. We want to have something unique from Blood Bowl 1 and Tabletop. I'm sure they listen to fucking Plasmoids team, which is fucking stupid, but you can't blame them for that. But just making up their own in inducement phase. Pretty bad. No one's gonna have it though, trying to call for a channel ladder. Although people might do it for fun. They could fucking sack the ball, but there's just no fun in it. <laughs> yeah. 
But the sad thing is that Blood Bowl 2016 is, is even worse. <laughs> it's even worse for Wizard Bowl. Which is just crazy. Yeah, final phases of leagues, but at least they paid the TV for it, though, Jelly. Like, it's why I lost um, the final of the, uh, of what's it called, the, um, you know, the OFL, um, the, the European OFL. The reason I didn't win that was because I had, um, he bought a wizard. He, he had a 400 TV advantage and he bought a wizard which made it like, you know, a, sorry, it was something like 300 TV above me. And then he bought a wizard so he's 450 above me. And at least I was, at least I got 450 of inducements, you know. So that, that's not that bad, but still. Yeah, Blood Bowl 2016 is even worse. That's the craziest thing there. Yeah, Fumble shouldn't have. But then, I can see why, you know, they've got to say, you know, to follow my latest rules, but Blood Bowl 2016 is horrific. Yeah, I guess a Blitz gives him a good chance. Um, but that's pretty much it, because you can just run in the corner. Guy to do with NF. He's he's always Chris has always said that um, he's going to use the latest rules, hasn't he? And to be fair, the numbers w dwindled when Living Rule Good Four was still being used instead of CRP, and it was a big uptake again when they moved to CRP. So I can see why it did it. But it's what's going to be interesting is how they do the seasons. That is interesting because. The fact they've brought out these seasons just means there's absolutely no rules for perpetual play anymore. So, I just don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, it's just how they do it though, isn't it? That's 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 the thing. Why are you what are you doing here? What are you doing? Oh. Thank you for the follow. Hard up a case. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be arbitrary, though, isn't it? If you just say twelve games or whatever, it's like, what's going to, what's, what's going to happen and stuff. It's just going to be weird, isn't it? And ranked as well, of course, for what it's worth. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty funny one. Yeah. Live your life in caps lock. See you, Jellio. Oh shit, I forgot my click again. Whoops.
Elf's gonna well. They removed piling on actually. They removed piling on. It's optional. Like squig balls are optional, so it's removed. Yeah, I think it's overblown people saying they killed no squig of piling. <laughs> All right, so another win and another fucking absolute pounding. Now oh, Batman got his level. Batman, they're all Batman. Got movement nine guy. Agility five or what? No. Dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six players. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, the state of this team, it's fucking pathetic, isn't it? Alright, see you, so I ain't One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four journeymen. <sighs> joking, it? Absolute fucking joke. Oh, I'm level here. No movement. Fucking hell. Movement's pretty sexy, isn't it? Even though I've already got bloat with the other movement. Movement 8 is pretty good. Obviously, if it wasn't movement, it would be tackle. I guess I've just lost a tackler, so getting tackle would be a good idea. And then she can always take sidestep as the next one and strip. Movement 8 would be good. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, I mean, she's already wrestled, so it makes sense to go wrestle tackle on her. And then she can go sidestep later, and then she'll die. Armour 8 wouldn't even be that bad. <laughs> but MA would be really nice, wouldn't it? But, got the movement 9 guy. Get the rack up. Make sure to put people down. <sighs> fucking rough. <laughs> God, this fucking team. But still, good record. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.